Israel dropped several, one, I don't know how many you need, 2,000 pound bombs on tents full of sleeping families in Gaza, killing at least 41. The numbers are bound to be higher. Um, in addition to the U.S. saying in the past, the use of 2,000 pound bombs are completely unjustified throughout Gaza, never mind in terms of tents. Also, be aware, this is about, I don't know, three minutes by car from the, the ocean. And so you're talking and you'll see this. It's all sand. There's no hidden tunnels underneath here. And here's, here's some footage of what it looks like uh, in, in the aftermath. Look at the size of this crater. Unbelievable. Turn the volume down a little bit. Yeah, there's everything is completely obliterated. We should also say that the head of uh, essentially the civil services, uh, like the civil, like the uh, uh, search and rescue, uh, he was killed. Uh, I think it was a couple of days ago, along with his family. Uh, by Israel you, and you can see people are using their hands to dig uh, This is another thing that Israel has been doing since the start of this genocide is they've been Handcuffing or bombing or attacking the machinery people need just for like these basic medical functions including Excavating these craters to find the bodies of loved ones who are I mean in smithereens I'm sure you can see some of their belongings and like it's every it, it, it it's every day it's not getting coverage because of course of the election and, and that's just un, and it's unconscionable but every day i open my my computer my twitter feed and i see a, a little girl shredded like her arms are like it's like they're 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 just shredded into pieces like splayed apart or a, another toddler with half her brain falling out finding just, a leg with a cell phone uh, flashlight we can't we can't show these images but we have to describe them because it's not just bombs and people like disappear and go into go into space like the there are people suffocating to death for days under rubble here is a sky news report um of course uh israel has some type of uh justification in their mind but understand like this is the humanitarian zone and it's in quotes. This is the safe zone. This is where Israel said to the these families, these refugees, go and you'll be safe here because we're bombing the hell out of everywhere else. And they bomb the hell out. I mean, it's not the first time that they've done this, but it's just. I mean, it's insane. It's insane. And this, as uh, William Burns, the head of the CIA, has basically said, there's th there is just simply no will on the part of Israel to have a deal. So this is not happening. But listen to uh, their justification here. Uh, supposedly this was a major tactical uh, hub for uh, Hamas. Listen. Gaza now, where local officials say at least 40 people have been killed in an Israeli airstrike. While our Middle East correspondent, Alistair Bunkel, joins us from Jerusalem. Alistair, what more can you tell us? What's the latest? Well, the strike happened overnight. The Israeli military say that they used precision munitions and surveillance before carrying out the strike. Pause it for a second. 200-pound bomb is literally the definition of non-precision um, weaponry. Go ahead. And surveillance before carrying out the strike in order to limit civilian casualties. But the health ministry, the Palestinian health ministry, says that at the moment, 40 people uh, are suspected to have been killed in the strike, more than 60 wounded, and they say there are still dozens missing. This took place uh, in the middle of a tented camp in a humanitarian zone, a place called Al Mawasi, which is quite close to Khan Yunis, towards the south of the Gaza Strip. Now, the IDF say that they were targeting significant Hamas operatives who were planning terror attacks against IDF forces within Gaza. And Pause it for a second. There is no such thing 
as a terrorist attack against a military target. It, that, that does not exist. That's not what it is. You want to call it a guerrilla attack? But there's no such thing as terrorism against a military force, particularly one that is invading your territory. Never mind the occupation. That's a whole nother, that's like another layer of, of argument. But th this is like, this is just basic words have meaning. Go back. Terror attacks against IDF forces within Gaza and Israeli civilians. It's not clear how they could have been given the, you know, the situation now in Gaza and the condition of Hamas. It's not quite clear what terror attacks they could have been planning within Israel, uh, except possibly to fire rockets into Israel. And the other thing that the IDF have not done is named any of the targets that they either successfully hit or were aiming at. And so at the moment, um, what we know is that the loss of life appears to be very, very large indeed. And we wait to see whether the Israelis tell us more about who it was they were trying to hit. I mean, at that uh, press conference that Biden did at the NATO summit in the wake of uh, his disastrous de debate performance, uh, he was asked specifically about 2000 pound bombs that he'd been sending to Israel. Um, his quote was, I'm not providing the 2,000 pound bombs. They cannot be used in Gaza or in any populated area without causing greater human tragedy and damage. He said this in July. Um, Truth out points out in this piece, in the past nine months alone, however, Biden officials have sent at least 14,000 2,000 pound bombs to Israel, Reuters reported in June, as well as uh, 6,500 500 pound bombs, 2,600 250 pound bombs, 3,000 Hellfire missiles, 1,000 unspecified bunker buster bombs, among other munitions. Um, so that's like that when you see the image of that crater, we all paid for that. <laughs> We all paid for that with our tax dollars collectively. Uh, and Biden, who is a known liar, frankly, throughout his entire career, plagiarism scandals, uh, a scandal took down in part one of his presidential campaigns back in the day. Uh, this is a lie. <laughs> uh, and look, the governments, governments lie to you all the time. But the, they have been lying about the munitions that we've been providing and what that use has been. They've been lying about what the red lines are, um, including the Rafa operation. And it was implied that the continued usage of these 2000 pound bombs in this area would be a red line for the Biden administration. And there have been no red lines. Um, so like Blinken came out with remarks specifically about the killing of um, the young Turkish American activists in the West Bank that were are considered some of the more strong language that has been used so far. But again, language, no action on this front. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.